I got a new hat. I feel like based on current events, every article of clothing I buy from this point forward should have an American flag on it. Can I get an amen? Here is time for some Thursday night fishing. What's up my dudes and my dudettes? Today we're gonna talk about gaining confidence in larger baits and how you can move up. This was a bait that I threw early on in the season I had a lot of luck with. This is a four inch Ocho. Ooh, you're a nice little bass. Let's unhook you just like that. Really a nice, healthy fish. Oh my gosh. Without question, the best day I've ever had on this lake. This is a bait I started to throw a couple months in. This is a five incher, but the thickness and the length are both larger, significantly larger. So several trips this year, I had caught great fish on these smaller baits. So I was hesitant to try something larger. However, not only will smaller fish hit these, hit these larger baits, it'll attract bigger fish as well. Oh boy, look at that fish, bud. That's a nice bass. So this was a turning point for me and this was something that I thought was important to share. Now I know some of you guys are looking at this and you're like, hey, where I live, that's just a morsel. But again, this is what I had had all of my luck on this year to this point. Before this, I got skunked about 10 times when I went out. So I wasn't real anxious to mess with the formula too much, but I felt like I had to change something. Now one cool thing is that both of these baits tend to sink at the same rate. So the most important thing is, what's the local forage? What's the size of that forage? What's the color and type of that forage? Those are the things that are gonna dictate the size and the type of baits that you're going to use. If they're keyed in on little baits, I'm gonna stick with this guy unless it's just not working. But again, this bait will attract larger fish as well as smaller fish. So don't be afraid to throw it. These smaller baits also shine when it's a dead calm and you don't wanna create a bunch of commotion. So let's get into it. I'm gonna take a week off because I'm going up north to do some taping and a whole bunch of fishing. We're gonna make sure that we test the spoons from the spoon video. We're gonna go after some pike. We're gonna go after some smallmouth. It should be awesome. Can I get an amen? Today, as I tape this, it is actually the 4th of July. Happy Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. I hope you and yours are spending some time together. God bless this great country that we are so fortunate to live in that we need to protect at all costs. Let's get better. Well, good morning, my friends. What's up, my dudes and my dudettes? We're headed back to the lake this morning. It's cold. It's 54 degrees at the moment, and it's only supposed to get to about 60. I got boots on today because one of the things that I forgot about fishing in the morning is that there's a lot of dew, and that'll get your shoes wet, and that'll make you cold too, and you have soggy feet all day. So hopefully we fix those two problems, but we're gonna see. Let's go fish. Well, as usual, I got some idiot fishing in the spot I wanted to fish, throwing a giant freaking spinner bait that looks like a musky lure, scaring all the fish away over there. So I'm not gonna be able to fish the side that I wanted to to start, but we'll see if he sticks around or if he hopefully leaves. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna start with a more subtle approach this morning. I just have a good feeling about that. We're gonna watch him and see if he sticks around or if he hopefully takes off. Got a little dew on the grass and nice morning. It sucks because the way people fish over in this lake is that guy's probably gonna be there for, oh, he's moving. Eh, eh. I'm gonna throw this eight ounce spinner bait around. Kasploosh. That's okay. God bless him. I hope he, hope he catches a fish. Yeah. Good morning. Oh, he threw my bait. Good morning. All right, maybe I should thank that guy. Got a little mark on you. Good morning. Good hook set too, right in the corner. All right, about the fifth cast. I'm over here grumbling because I got somebody in my spot. This guy hit right away, so I'm gonna hurry up and get a bait back out here, but that's one on that's one on the Wacky Ocho. Fifth cast, I'm gonna move over that way. Good fish to start the day. Let's keep going. Okay. All right, bubs. Like I tell everybody, I'm gonna toss you out, okay? Sorry. Good fish. And check out the other side of the lake because I know that there's some bigger fish swimming over there. Let's go explore a bit. Since I'm leaving, I'll make a couple big noisy casts with the swim bait. I can see two better sized fish and they're ignoring this. So this is a little bit bigger. Ocho, this is a five and a half or five or something and I was using a four. 
Let's see if we can get somebody's attention. Did it again. Finally ticked you off enough, huh? Finally. You were spooky looking at it for quite a while. Finally ticked him off enough that he ate it. That was a little bit bigger ocho. And these fish are all in pretty skinny water. They're not super aggressive. It was cold last night. I don't know if that's having an impact. This guy's over a pound though. He's got some good weight to him. Finally got him to bite. That took a while. I had to work here for about 20 minutes on this one fish. And I hate to do this, but I'm gonna toss you out where I know for sure that you're gonna be able to swim, okay? There he goes, right there. Cool, healthy release, good deal. Does not get old, I love it. Tons of fun. All right, I'm gonna switch back to smaller size bait because I'm seeing these fish swim up to the bigger size and then they're just backing off. I mean, several times I've seen this happen. They come up and they look at it. That last one I caught, I had to sit there for 20 minutes and just aggravate that fish until he finally got ticked off and he attacked the bait. Now I can see there's this fish right here that he wouldn't, he wouldn't commit to the other size. We'll see if they pick this size up. They're all throughout here. I just gotta get in front of somebody that wants to eat. Just gotta find somebody that wants to eat. Who wants to eat? I think we're gonna go over where we got some deeper water and see if we can get, get these guys to pick it up on the drop somewhere. Nice bass everywhere, but they're all spooky. It's like they can hear me coming. I see them shoot out from shore. The bugs are everywhere. They're all in my business. Little gnats. Could do without that crap try to cast out and get some of these fish that are 15 20 feet out from shore because the ones up next to shore are not having it a couple of hail marys and then we're gonna go Okay, we'll take it. Not a jumbo by any means, I'm swimming around with the swimming around with the bluegill and stuff, so we'll take it. All right, buddy, scare that bluegill. See you later. Got the old bass thumb still. That's good. Hardly felt that guy even. Oh shit. Missed one. Picked it up right away. Let's see if somebody's hungry over there. I hate when I miss them. Oops, somebody's got it. Oh boy. Oh. Don't pop off. Whoa, shoot, man. You're a feisty one. You're her feisty one. You got that down your gullet. Come here. Nice bass. That, that is what we're looking for today. You're my fourth fish today. That's the first time that's ever happened. That's a stout one. That is a stout fish. He's two pounder, very fat. Finally, this was a good move. I had to get away from the fish that were spooky that could see me and then I could get into some bass that were a little more willing to bite. Okay, fourth fish of the day. I gotta hurry up and get going again because this was almost the very next cast. So I wanna be fishing over here. I got this little spillage thing behind me. I cast it right on the edge of that. Somebody picked it up and I missed him and then this guy got it on the very next cast. This fish is over two pounds, very nice bass, but I had to get away from those fish in the super skinny water. I'm gonna get this guy released before a bunch of people see what I'm doing. Nice fish, nice. Bad. 
and see you later. Very nice. Four fish, let's go for five. All right, just retied. The knot was bad, so I retied again. I only got about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna throw this bigger one again and test it. I'm hoping there's more than one fish hanging out over there. Here's a quick tip for you guys. This is something I suffer from, but make sure you keep the right mentality. I was just upset that I lost my bait. Don't be upset about losing your bait. That bait probably cost me about 40 cents. You figure all the time and effort it takes to get here, and I caught two fish on it in about a three minute window. It's all good. Take the bait, buy another bag of bait. Have my bait. If it means fish, all good. Somebody picked it up again. It's two misses. What is that? Oh, shh. Somebody had picked it up again. I think I'm getting messed with. Oh, shh. That was definitely a small one because it went dunk, 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 Oh, shh. These little guys are picking it up and running with it. Pull and drag. You're a good one. You are a good one. Catching the corner of the mouth. Come here. Right in the corner of the mouth. That's number five. This has been this has been a really good day, but look at the size of that fish compared to the bait. So this fish is about a pound and a half and it came on the opposite side of the bank. I'm able to cast over there on the back side of those weeds and work the deep edge. And that's what I want to be doing. That's what I wanted to do on the other side of the lake, but I couldn't reach it. Also, this fish came on that five inch oak show. It's a bigger bait and it's not a huge fish. Like I said, it's about a pound and a half. So I'm feeling better about that bait, but man, it hits the water a lot harder. So I'm thinking it spooks them, but we got a lot of noise with the spill thing, the spillage thing over here behind me. So it could have something to do with it. Let's get a good release. So that's five for today. That's really good. I'm glad I made that move. 15 minutes, three fish. Very cool. All right, big guy, I'm gonna put you back right over here and I'm gonna kinda of toss you a little bit, okay? I'm glad I retied. These fish are super feisty, they're jumping all over. Really cool. All righty, folks. That was a good morning. It was a good morning. Eight fish in the last two days. That's pretty good for me at, at this lake. And we learned a few things. First, I shouldn't have been so grumpy this morning about that guy in my spot because I didn't have any luck over there anyway. Second, I had much better luck when I was casting across the lake to the backside of the weeds and the algae and the deeper water as opposed to trying to cast at those fish that were up in one, two, three feet. My bait coming over by them would spook them off more often than not. So that one I did catch under the bush, Ticked him off enough that he ate it. That was a little bit bigger Ocho. He just got ticked. He just got mad. Eventually I put it around him enough that he was like, I'm gonna get rid of this thing and he attacked it hard. It wasn't like a strike. Even with that bigger Ocho that I didn't think I was gonna have any luck with, I caught some medium, nice size fish. Not jumbos though. So I'm not gonna be afraid to throw that as we get further into the spring and further into the summer. I've been sticking with that four incher because it's more subtle. It doesn't hit the water as hard. But especially, I think once I got over by that spillage or whatever, whatever that is where that water drains, it makes a lot of noise. So that could have helped cover up my presence a little more. You know, they could hear me walking along the bank and that would spook them off too. It got cold last night, it got down to 48. That could have had an, an impact on it, but overall a couple of changes and uh, we were in the fish. But we had to work for them today, that's for sure. That was a three hour trip. That's more than I usually get. I usually get one to two hours tops. Today I got a little bit extra time, but three of those fish came in the last 15 minutes. Very grateful. Thank you guys if you took the time to watch this. I appreciate that. That makes me want to continue to get better as a fisherman. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Let's get better.